Kim Coventry and today I'm going to do a video on making trail mix and if you haven't had a chance to check out my other videos please do at Fit Kim TV on YouTube or go to my blog at fitkim.com where I have other information on nutrition, fitness, recipes and you can subscribe to receive my e-tips. So I wanted to show you this super easy trail mix recipe because as a person on the go I find it a common question is how do you stay uh, healthy, eating healthy when you're traveling so much or you know, you, you head out the door at 7 a.m. and you're not home until 6, 7 o'clock at night. So one of the key ways I do that is by making my own trail mix. And it's so easy to do, super healthy for you, and it's great for traveling. So what you can do is go to the bulk food section of your grocery store. Luckily here in Texas, we have a place called HEB. It's awesome. And they have this healthy aisle with uh, fresh pro, uh, bulk items. So you can choose if you want walnuts, you can choose exactly how much you want. If they don't have something like that, then just buy them individually. It's very, uh, goes a long way. So even though you might get a bag of walnuts and think, oh wow, that's four or five, six dollars, you'll see you only need a little bit of each, so it will go a really long way. It's worth it. So all I have here is a quarter cup of all of the trail mix ingredients. For the nuts, I would choose about four different kinds, and I will have the recipe for this on my blog, so don't worry about writing it down right now. But I would choose about four different nuts that you like. And what I get is unsalted, dry roasted, and I find that it adds enough flavor to it that you don't need to add any salt to this. So that's usually what I do. So I'm just going to go ahead and show you how it's done. So you'll just need a medium-sized bowl, and then I have a quarter cup of everything. So I chose a quarter cup of almonds. Then I have a quarter cup of walnuts. I have a quarter cup of pistachios. Um, I have a quarter cup of sunflower seeds. Also dried cranberry. Make sure they uh, don't have a bunch of sugar added to them. And then last, I combine the two. I have a quarter cup of dark chocolate uh, kisses, or the small mini ones, but make sure you get dark chocolate. And then also cashews. So you pick whatever you want. You could do uh, raisins instead. You could omit the chocolate. You could choose uh, pumpkin seeds. It's Halloween time. You know, whatever you want. So once you have everything, just shake it up. You can use a spoon if you want to. And then um, that's it. What I do is I usually put it in a big Ziploc bag and then I will throw it in my lunch cooler and just have it on hand in case I run out of food for the day or... I'll put a little Ziploc bag, really small, in my purse. If you ever get in a situation where you're stuck without food, I have to eat every two, two and a half hours. So if I ever get stuck, I've got my emergency kit in my purse. But I actually left this in the car. It was in my cooler all day. And it's very hot here in Texas, even though it's October, it's still in the 90s. And the chocolate, the, the kiss has kind of melted everything and turned it into big clumps. At first I was kind of bummed, I'm like, oh, my trail mix. Well, I ate one of the clumps and it was amazing. It's like dessert. So if you want to, you could heat the uh, kisses. Make sure you use a double saucepan so you don't get it all nasty on your pan. But just heat it really slow and you could drizzle that all over this and it would turn it into clumps. You could do that too if you wanted to. That's a variation. So try this. Tell me what you think. Um, also, this month I'm going to do a Fit Kim challenge. So go to my blog so you can see what that's all about. It's a 30-day challenge. If you register for it, you will get a chance to win my drawing for this, Lick the Sugar Habit. This is an awesome book. I used to have the biggest sweet tooth ever. I had to have something sweet after every meal, and I loved sugar. It was crazy. And with sugar, eating a lot of sugar, the weight usually doesn't come off. So once I was able to overcome the sugar habit, I was able to lose the weight. So this is an amazing book. I'm not kidding. It's awesome. It just really makes you understand how sugar works. So. If you uh, enter the challenge, you will get a chance to win this book. So make sure you subscribe for that. Um, also, if you like my other videos, um, please subscribe at FitKim TV on YouTube and also check out my blog at fitkim.com. So thanks for watching. I, I hope you love this recipe and we'll see you soon.